Hey everybody, it's Stuart McAdam here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about part two of Black Friday marketing. So this is tips on how to absolutely crush it and be successful with it. So just before we get started, here's what we're going to cover today. We're going to have a look at what the big players are doing. We're going to look at the lessons we can learn from them. We're going to look at getting the timing right for your promotions and also what online channels you can use for your small and local business to get success with Black Friday marketing. Before we get started today, don't forget to smash the like button below and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video and want to, scroll down into this video description. I've included a link in the description below. And with that said, let's get straight into it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about some of the ways in which businesses are advertising for Black Friday and what lessons we can learn from them in applying them to our Black Friday marketing strategy. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how some of the bigger businesses of different shapes, sizes and industries are doing their marketing and how you can take inspiration from these and use them in your business. So the slide that I've got up right now is for Walmart at the moment and they're obviously one of the largest companies in the world. And what Walmart does very well is that they use everything visually to make it very strong. So if you have a look here, Black Friday, they got the deals highlighted very big. They got the 7 p.m. online, they got the price. Go to the next one and you got the target. Now, there's three things that really stand out about this advert that I really like. The first thing is that the graphic is excellent it stands out in a crowded news feed. If you see this on your Facebook or Instagram feed, it's gonna make you stop. And the animal is a really cute dog with a paper in its mouth, so it creates a very good connection, especially if you're a dog lover, an animal lover, it's created that emotional connection. And the second thing here is, is repetition, you know? It's here, it's here, it's here, Black Friday. And it's just nudging people gently. Have a look at the top line text here. Um, better start planning your Black Friday game plan. And then again, the description, it says, find out what's hitting this year's Black Friday sales. So it's kind of creating that curiosity and interest. Now, if you have a look at the Home Depot Black Friday ad from a couple of years ago, you can have a look at two, at some of the different things which they're illustrating right here. It's creating the interest in what they're offering, um, how the holiday specials, the lowest prices of the year. So that creates a sense of interest and it makes people want to think about getting in quickly so that they don't actually miss out. And as you can see here, they've got a nice high level of social proof as well, which really helps to drive home overall engagement and interest. And as you can see here, You've got the blackfriday.com specials. Obviously the Walmart one's very big here. It's got a lot of urgency and a lot of things that people stand to benefit from. Now, one of the players that I hadn't heard about, which is to me an ad that's done very well, it's an ad done on the day of the Black Friday in the description and, and identifies exactly what someone will get. So all of these examples, they're advertising quite close to Black Friday. It's all about the timing. But that sort of raises the question, how early is too early? Well, if you go into the websites of you know, Walmart and Amazon and Target and some of the other big players, you'll see that they're preparing for this pretty early. It's normally six, to six weeks to two months out where they begin to put up the website with some of the specials and some of the offers and the deals or maybe a bit of a preview. But if you're a small and local business, what is the perfect timing? And one of the things that I've learned from experience is that five to 10 days out from Black Friday tends to be a good time to get your ads up and running and get going with things. If you're looking at setting up a website landing page, then we'll talk about that a little bit more later on. But you probably need a little bit more time. But with the advertising, you know, five to 10 days gives people enough time to learn about you and know about you. By now, enough people in English-speaking countries around the world, especially in North America, will know about Black Friday. So if you're presenting offers and deals in the spirit of this mammoth shopping weekend, 
then doing it to five to 10 days out lets you, your target market start gathering information about what you're offering and make a note to return and have a look at what happens when you're opening up on Black Friday. If you've got a website dedicated to Black Friday deals, starting to populate the page with information is best done six to eight weeks out. So it gives you a couple of weeks to understand, you know, let the SEO kick in and have that working. So that's why if you've got a dedicated landing page, make sure that you give yourself enough time to really work that magic and provide a good opportunity for it to um, happen. And with the Facebook and Instagram and Google, you can use ads to really sort of manipulate and get the most out of it. Um, you know, it could be something as simple as, you know, we've got some Black Friday specials coming, sign up to our newsletter to find out more. You know, it could be a direct product advertisement. So if you've got an online training course or you've got like physical products that you're selling like um, guitars or water bottles or anything like of the kind, you could have that special weaved into the fabric of your ad. So my recommendation is to look at how you can use it for your landing page, give that six to eight weeks, let the SEO kick in and make sure you start ranking for the keywords that you wanna be ranking for in search phrases. And then Facebook and Instagram and Google, start using your ads to really speak to the people and do that about five to 10 days out and understand which, which keywords in particular you want to rank for, and what products you're going to sell. So that's a simple framework strategy right there to absolutely crush it, guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to smash that like button once again. Thanks very much and we'll see you next time.